نحمد ورسلی اللہ رسول کریم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر بردرس اینڈ سسٹرس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک وچ از ریلیٹڈ ٹو آور وریز آور پرابلمز آور ڈپریشنس وچ وی آر انکاؤنٹرنگ ان آور ڈیلی لائف دا فرسٹ تھنگ وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو انالائز ان دا لائٹ آف قرآن اینڈ سننا از دیٹ وائی وی آر فیسنگ اینڈ انکاؤنٹرنگ پرابلمس وائی وی آر ہیونگ ڈپریشنس اسپیشلی ان دا کنٹیمپرری ایج The reason for depression, the reason for worries, the reason for problems has been discussed in the Holy Quran in this way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this thing quite clear. مَا أَسَابَكُمْ مِنْ مُسِيبَةً فَبِمَا كَسَبَ تَعِذِيكُمْ That every problem which we are facing, it is resulting from our own sins. On another instance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this thing clear. مَنْ نَعْرَضًا ذِكْرِ فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً زَنْكَ وَنَخْشُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَامَا That whosoever will lead a life, Without the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will face a life of hardship. So it is very clear from Holy Quran that all the hardships, all the worries, all the problems, all the depressions, they are resulting from our own sins, our own disobedience, our own wrongdoings. So how can we overcome these problems, these worries? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has told us many ways through which we can overcome these problems, these worries and these depressions. The first way, in, the first way through by acting on which we can overcome our problem is that we should invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whenever we are facing any problem, any worry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this thing clear in the Holy Quran. Amman yujibul mustarra ida da'am wa yaksibu su that who is the one who is relieving or who is eliminating the worries and problems of the anxious person whenever he is invoking him. So when a person with the complete belief is invoking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and is supplicating before him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove his worries. So the first thing which, should we, which we should do in our daily life whenever we are, problem, we are facing a problem or we are facing a depression is that we should invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with complete concentration, with complete focus. Whenever we will invoke him, inshallah, he will remove our problems. The second is, thing is that we should pass our idle time in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should do his zikr. We should pass our time in a way that we are saying la ilaha illallah, we are saying subhanallah, we are saying alhamdulillah, we are sending Salat on Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When we are passing our time in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is very much evident from Holy Quran. Alladheena aman wa atmainu kuloohum bi dhikrillahi ala bi dhikrillahi atmainu kuloohum. The believers are those who always give rest and peace to their heart through the remembrance of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this thing clear that hearts are always getting rest and peace with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it is a matter of pity. And uh, we are unlucky that we are spending our idle time in watching films, in reading digests, in reading magazines, in reading newspapers, in gossiping, in backbiting, and we are not concentrating on remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Furthermore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this thing clear in the Holy Quran that whenever a person invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the way in which Jonah alayhi salam or Yunus alayhi salam invoked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he was captured by depression, if we are walking in that way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also remove our depression. The supplication through which Jonah or Yunus alayhi salam invoked before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned in Surah Anbiya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrates the supplication of Yunus in this way, La ilaha illa anta subhana ka inni kuntu minas zalimi. He invoked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this way, that there is no one to be worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also invoked in a way that his his majesty was not involved in the depression of the Yunus alayhi salam. He claimed this thing or he confessed this thing that all the problems were occurred due to his own wrongdoings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this thing clear in the Holy Quran. Allah accepted his supplication and removed his depression. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this thing clear that all the believers who will invoke before me just as the Yunus or Jonah alayhi salam invoked before me, I will remove his depression. The fourth way in which our, all the problems or worries can be solved 
is by speak, by speaking with istighfar. Inshallah, I will deliver a full fledged lecture on the topic of istighfar. But it, at this moment, I want to convey this thing that in the hadith of Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu it is very much clear that whosoever sticks with the istighfar, he gets three benefit. All his worries are removed, all his depressions are encountered, and he gets the nourishment from the place from where he cannot expect that he will get the nourishment. So, whenever we are encountering a depression, it is our duty that we should do istighfar and toba, and we should regret, and we should feel sorry for what we have uh, done that of transgression and what we have uh, uh, and what we have done in the past by disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where it was, it was our duty to obey Him in every moment of life. Another way through which we can encounter all our worries, we can overcome all our depressions are that we should give charity in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should help needy people, we should help orphans, we should help widows. Whenever we are spending our money with the zeal that we just want to please Allah, we don't want to act uh, uh, in a manner that we want show off or we want praise from the people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a result that all our depressions are removed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this thing quite clear in the Holy Quran. الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً فَلَهُمْ مَلْيُهُمْ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ that those people who are spending their money during daylight, in the darkness of the night, and in the crowd of the people, and whenever no one is seeing them, the result is that all their worries will be eliminated, and all their fears will be taken away. And also, another way through which our depressions can be encountered is abstaining ourselves from sins. We are, if we are spending the life of piety, if we are acting on the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and acting on the commandments of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and leading a life of piety, the result will be what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this thing quite clear in the Holy Quran. الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَكَانُوا يَتَّقُونَ أَلَا إِنَّا أَوْلِيَاءَ اللَّهِ لَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْذَنُونَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَكَانُوا يَتَّقُونَ That indeed the friends of Allah, there will be no fear and no depression on them. And what is their attribute and what is their sign? Who are the friends of Allah? These are those who are believing and who are spending the life of piety. Another way, by acting on which we can encounter our depressions, we can encounter our problems, is to send Salat on Muhammad Sallallahu in a hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He has made this thing clear that who is frequently sending Salat on Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the result is that all his worries will be gone and all his sins will be forgiven. Another way, to encounter our depressions and problem is that we should recite La hawla wa la quwata illa billah Prophet has told that La hawla wa la quwata illa billah is cure of 99 diseases and the most inferior of those diseases is depression now you can think that La hawla wa la quwata illa billah is what a big remedy the meaning of La hawla wa la quwata illa billah is that there is no refuge, there is no shelter and there is no power for except the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the last thing which I have quoted in the verse which I recited before is that our belief should be firm of Allah, on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our belief should be in, in the destiny of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our belief should be in the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our belief should be in the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this thing clear that the friends of Allah they will be free from all worries and no fear can touch them and their attribute is that they will be believing and the offshoot of this very attribute is also that we should rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alayhi sallahu bi kafin abdahu indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is enough for all the human kinds for all the human beings for all his slaves and it is it has been made quite evident in Surah Talaq, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said this thing, وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّرَ اللَّهِ فَوْحَسْبُهُ Whosoever relies on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, indeed he is enough for that person. So by acting on all these uh, good deeds, inshallah, our all the worries and our all the problems, our all the depressions can be waived. So by acting on all these, uh, all these good deeds, 
which have been mentioned in Quran, which have been mentioned in Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Inshallah, we will be able to encounter our depressions. May Allah give relief to all the people who are depressed and may Allah remove our disorders, may Allah remove our anxieties, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us in every aspect of life. Wa ahiru dawana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alameen.